Okay, this is uh, Chanel application number six in our series. Um, this is going to be the final one you learn um, as far as a takedown or a trapping uh, Chanel application. And I have to always reinforce, when you're doing Chanel applications, you're focusing on the joints of the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. It's very important that you not do these as hard as you can. Um, you, in the beginning, you always want to do them softly and be respectful of your opponent because we don't want to dislocate anybody's shoulder. And uh, this is probably the one, um, each of the series is designed to focus on a different joint. We have one that focuses on the wrist, one that specifically works on an elbow, and another one, this one we're going to do, is kind of the shoulder and the elbow together, mostly on the shoulder. So please, I can't reinforce this enough. Use extreme caution with this and do not do this to hurt anybody. This is designed to be a self-defense technique for if somebody is attacking you to where you can trap them and be able to control them so when help arrives or be able to do something to where you can get away from an altercation. Okay, so this is called upward shoulder press and it's because we actually are going to be pressing upwards on the elbow. Uh, I said upward shoulder, it's an upward elbow press um, I'll be pressing upward on the elbow, but it actually puts most of the pressure on the shoulder. Okay? So what we do is the first motion is uh, she's, this is what happens if somebody is doing a jab. Uh, she's going to be punching with her right front. So she's coming in at me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually taking my left hand and doing what we learn in our forms as kind of a hom technique. So I'm actually coming across and pressing down. What I do do is I grab it. Okay? And in this process, what I'm doing is I'm coming across and I'm coming right here. My thumb is immediately starting to rest on these two fingers. So I'm actually coming over and grabbing in this position. So if you see my hand grab, this is what you want to do. I look like this on the other side. So I immediately, she's punching and I'm grabbing immediately. And I start to, once I grab, if I grab at the wrist, as I'm moving, I immediately want to move my thumb onto that last knuckle of the hand. So it's a very advanced technique, it's complicated, but you can get this with practice. So you come in, she's coming in. What I'm doing is I'm actually pressing down, okay? This gets her in a motion where the arm is below my center body, okay? This is important because the next motion is I'm taking my right hand along with my right foot and I'm coming in. So my right foot comes in to just outside of her, le uh, her right foot. As I'm doing that, I'm turning this hand over. My right hand is coming in and sliding up on this part of her forearm. So I'm actually coming in this way. And I'm actually doing almost like a snake move. We do it in our salt maneuver and our forms. So I'm actually coming in and coming around. Now, if you see what happens is by doing this, because it's lower, I'm coming down. My hand, the back of my hand is in line with her elbow. What I'm going to do next is see what happens by grabbing that thumb as I'm rotating her hand. It loosens up and I'm able to grab her hand in this position where I'm taking my three fingers of my left hand and are in her wrist. And then my left thumb is on her outside two knuckles and it allows me to turn this way. This breaks the elbow a little bit so it doesn't bend, so it can't fight me. I come underneath, I come step behind. And my, as I'm stepping behind, I'm rotating my arm, palm up. My right hand is palm up, putting pressure on the, the elbow here. And then I press up. And you can see as it happens, it puts a lot of pressure on this. At the same time I'm pressing up, I'm pressing her wrist forward with this hand. Okay, so I'm actually doing two movements at the same time. This is called upward shoulder press. I'm gonna do this slow, and then I'll do one at regular speed. Okay, so slowly, she does a jab, I come down, come around, step forward, back, and up. Okay, compromises this, you can really do this hard, you could dislocate it. So a little bit faster, she comes in, and I'm behind. Okay, that's the upward shoulder press.